How many mountains to get some confidence? How many debates to earn some tailwind? The years pass. I'm still the same. Hi everyone, it's Mary Beth. Welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited to be the guest host on the 5 Under 5 DIY Challenge. Each month it is hosted by Emily from Farm Charm Chic and Missy from Crafty Cove. And thank you so much for allowing me to be the guest host. It's so much fun. And I will make sure to have the playlist listed in my description box below. And amazing, amazing, talented, creators. I will also have Emily's channel and Missy's channel uh, linked below as well. So please, please, please go support all of us and check everyone out. All right. So of course I got five DIYs, each one under $5. All right. This first one is I got this thing, candle sticky thing <laughs> at the thrift store. And I believe it was like a mm, dollar 99, maybe that birdhouse I got on clearance. 90% off. So it was 99 cents. Yay for me. <laughs> that was a while ago. I'm telling you what, I hit up the Joann's, all the Michael's, all the craft store. You got to hit those clearance, man, when they're like 75, 80, 90% off. It's amazing what you can get. So you'll see another piece in here that I got on the same trip to Joann's. Again, it was a few months ago where I got another piece that was 90% off. So instead of $10, it was a dollar. Um, so I painted the candlestick in that um, beautiful milk jug color. I really like that from Folk Art. By the way, I am a plaid ambassador. I love plaid products, but I also use a lot of other products. I really like to try all different kinds of um, paints and waxes and you name it. All right. Speaking of which, <laughs> this is silk. It's a one and all primer or, you know, like you don't need a primer or whatever. But um, this color, I missed what the color is. I think it's Savannah Mist. Um, anyway, and it is by Country Chic. Uh, and then I'm going to use the Barcelona paint to paint the roof and the sides of the little cute birdhouse as well as, yeah, the roof, the sides, the bottom, etc. I am going to take the milk jug paint again, and I'm going to distress it pretty heavily. You wouldn't need to do this, but I just kind of like that look. Another cute look would be to take like a white wax, if you have that, and white wax it. Um, that'd be kind of fun too. All right. So distress, 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 or, you know, with the milk jug paint. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, does it look like there's snow on the roof? This is supposed to be spring, <laughs> but that's okay. I think it turned out fine. I went ahead and picked some fun little spring flowers, by the way. I have a big Ziploc bag. I just keep adding to it this from last year. So, you know, I didn't have to purchase any new flowers. Um, and I just uh, picked some really pretty lilacs and is that lilac or lavender? I don't know. I get confused. Um, <laughs> and I just uh, added them uh, to the bottom on each side. And yeah, and then I did a pretty bow and uh, an embellishment on the bow by totally dazzled, totally dazzled. What the heck? Totally but. Bedazzled, totally dazzled. Oh my word. Um, and want to mention that in my description box, I have all my links in one spot uh, called Linktree. So if you click on that, you will see all my links there. My Amazon storefront, my buy me a coffee if you ever want to tip me. I'm trying to save up for some lights, some good lights for my videos so I can hopefully bring you better videos. Um, and you know everything else i have there just in case you're interested in checking those out hopefully that's a little bit more convenient for you all right so here we go gonna make this bow i am not the best at making bows i just did um two shoestring bows and put them together be right here with you in this world of ticking clocks i hope i'm getting through
I'm going to glue it on this. Sorry, my camera died, but all I did was hot glue the uh, birdhouse onto this candlestick. And I think this turned out so super cute. I really hope that you like it. I hope it gives you some inspiration. Um, I think it looks springy and not wintry. <laughs> all right, let's move on to DIY number two. So I got this um, vase at also the thrift store. Um, and I believe it was three dollars, I think. Um, anyway, you could tell it was an FTD that probably wasn't cheap if somebody sent it as a gift with flowers in it or whatever. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this folk art uh, white chalk paint. Um, Kind of as just a base coat to cover up the um, flowers and stuff because I am going to paint this pink and I didn't want that showing through. Now, this paint, oh my goodness, is super thick, which that's okay, but I don't want brush strokes and stuff. I don't want it to be thick. So just a tip, I'm sure you know this, but I just spray a little bit of um, water onto the pitcher or onto your brush and then and then do it so that your brush strokes are smooth. And then after, I think I painted it two or three very light coats. Um, so it's smooth. And then I did take um, a 220 um, sand paper, just very lightly, very lightly. I'm not trying to distress. I'm just brushing out any little paint strokes I may have in there. Then I'm gonna make, look at this from the Dollar Tree, that glass comes with um, a lid. I'm like, that's perfect to hold some paint in. So look how thick, <laughs> this paint's like sour cream. It's, I don't know, maybe I just got a weird batch or something, but um, I am going to mix my own pink paint. So I'm just putting, you know, some white paint in there and then I'm gonna mix just a very, very little bit of this red folk art paint. Oh gosh, I don't know what color it is, but it's one of the red colors. Anyways, um, just making a light pink, very light pink. And I literally sprayed water in here and I ended up pouring about a ha uh, about a quarter of a cup of water, no joke, just to thin this out. So I wanted to kind of show you that process. But anyways, thinned out the paint. And then I went ahead and I think I only had to do two coats. Um, and again, just very light coats because I'm trying to avoid, um, I wanted it to be as smooth as possible. You could spray paint it, um, that might be easier, but I went ahead and um, just did it the way I did it. Anyway, so now I'm just gonna use again some clear wax. You really wanna seal this. You don't want that paint chipping, all that work you put into it. Um, so I went ahead and sealed it and then literally just pulled some of my flowers that I had in, in my stash and popped them in there and then i did make um a bow uh just a little double bow with some satin pink ribbon and then i believe it was some um gingham pink and white ribbon from i think the dollar tree or hobby lobby on sale i, I cannot remember but again i have those in my stash i just think this is such a cute little way to freshen things up and bring spring inside your home Moving on to DIY number three. This is the breadboard that I got at Joanne's on clearance. Now I did 
painted this dark gray a while back and ended up not doing that DIY. It was like a wood, and I think it said chilling and grilling, or or no, it didn't say chilling and grilling. It said something. I don't know. But anyways, so that's all I did to it initially, like I said, a while ago. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to paint it the pink color that I made, <laughs> the pink paint, and then I will lightly distress it to bring a little bit of the gray out. And this was a fun project, very inexpensive because this board, again, I got it under $2. I think it was $19.99 and I got it 90% off. So that was a great deal. Um, all I do, again, paint it, a light distress, and then I use a piece of scrapbook paper that I had in my stash and I fussy cut all these flat, the flowers out, you'll see here in a moment. And it's really reminded me of doing like a rub on transfer. So it's a very inexpensive way to kind of get that look. So hopefully, you know, hopefully that's a good tip for you. Um, and yeah, so you'll see me mop patch that on. And then I do a shabby chic bow with some beads. And this one was a lot of fun. And I really, really, really liked the end result. All right. So thank you so much for being here. I'm so, so happy you're here. And if you are new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, I just really want to welcome you. My name is Mary Beth. I like doing all different kinds of DIYs. Thrift flips are probably my favorite. But I like shabby chic. I like farmhouse, rustic. Uh, a little bit of boho, you name it. I like to try a lot of different things. Um, and I just really appreciate you being here and hope that you would um, consider subscribing if you like this type of content. And if you are a returning subscriber, you already know I'm so, so, so grateful for you. So thank you so much for returning. So I really, really do appreciate it. Don't forget to check out everybody in the amazing playlist, as well as Emily and Missy. Um, uh, in the five under five DIY challenge. Just greatly appreciate everybody being here. All right. So here we go. I'm fussy cutting. That's what I'm doing. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention, by the way, I like to fussy cut with the normal large size scissors. That's just me. I prefer to do that, but a lot of people use smaller scissors, but whatever feels comfortable to you. Um, also tonight, tonight, Saturday, March 5th, at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, I am going to be a guest on Favi's channel, Arrows DIY. Um, we are going to be live tonight doing some shabby chic uh, Easter spring projects. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So I do hope that you guys um, will join us again, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central on Favi's channel. And that is Arrows DIY here on YouTube. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited about that. Just what a great Saturday. I get this video and then I get to go live with my friend and such a fun crafty Saturday. It's really gloomy and rainy here, so it's a perfect day for that. Anyway, so there you go. Going to Mod Podge and then I'll let you watch how I put together my little shabby uh, bows um, on this project.
I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. We're on the fourth DIY. This one, there's not too much to show you. I made a coffee filter wreath. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I put it together, but um, a lot of this work was off camera. So I used almost three packages of these coffee filter packages. There were 150 in each, so close to 450. Um, you fold it in half, fold it in half a second time, and then fold it in half a third time. Um, I got these packages from the Dollar Tree and then also the wreath form. Now, I really was looking for one of those foam wreath forms. I couldn't find one, but it worked fine with the ringed one. So what you're gonna do is just put a little bit of hot glue on there towards, you know, maybe like, I don't know, a half inch or so in, uh, whatever you feel looks good. And then just hot glue it around the ring. That is literally what you're gonna do. And then you're going to keep going around. Um, there's four rings, so this first inner ring you go around and then what I did is um, then I would do another round on the inner ring but like uh, in between two of them I'm trying to explain it uh, kind of stagger them I guess is what I'm trying to say so um, and then I would move on to the second ring do the same thing the third and the fourth now at the end and I didn't show this but I ended up doing probably three or four more rounds on the inner ring um, you can literally do as much as you want make it as full as you want but that's literally it um it's just hot gluing these around now one thing i did find as i was moving you know going through this the way i'm doing it now i would not suggest i would suggest wrapping the filter around the ring and then putting the hot glue on and the reason i say that is because i was getting burned a lot so um you know be careful doing that so here i am moving on to the fourth ring and I think this is where I show you where I end up putting the filter in first, then laying the hot glue down and folding it up. Please, if you can, do it that way. I, I did burn myself several times. Um, so for me, that worked out better. And I think this is so pretty. It's so full. It's so beautiful. You could do white. You could dye your coffee filters. They also make like natural color ones. And I fiddled around oh also i trim just kind of trim up you know wherever you'd like it you can shape it however you want it um i fiddled around with adding some flowers or a bow and it just i don't know it just wasn't coming together right for me so i might go back and try to do that again but certainly some beautiful spring flowers would be pretty on here a pretty bow but i just left it plain and white you know fresh um, to me was also a good spring. I guess it could be good for winter as well. Um, but I really did like how this turned out. It's a lot of fun. You watch a Netflix series or a couple movies and, and just go to town making it. So I hope you do try this. Um, it, like I said, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, um, there is my coffee filter wreath. Um, I think I'm going to make a, one of the smaller wreath forms. I'm going to do it maybe with that as well, but I may go back, um, and put some flowers on this one. We'll see. Anyway, hope you like it. Um, so yes, moving on DIY number five. It's our final DIY. So this cute little breadboard from the Dollar Tree, which I have never found before. So I was excited to find that. Um, I am going to use some, I, again, I have this scrapbook paper. I've done a lot of paper crafting, so 
I have, a, I have a pretty big stash of that. So this is an older collection by Bo Bunny, but it's kind of shabby chic. So I just picked out a couple different um, pages in here that I wanted to use. And this was actually really simple, but it was a lot of fun to make. On that board from the Dollar Tree, I am gonna pull off that middle section. Um, those are just like thumbtacks. They're kind of in there. You gotta pull them, <laughs> pull them out um, and save the tacks. Um, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut down this cute paper, the pink paper that has the birds on it. It is going to go on that small piece. On the board, on the back, I'm gonna paint it that milk jug. And on the front, I'm gonna put that green colored piece. Um, so you'll see how all this unfolds. And then I'm just gonna embellish it with some, it's kind of a cream colored, um, I guess it's burlap, like a really loose burlap um, ribbon. And I'm again gonna use uh, one of the totally uh, dazzled uh, embellishments to put on there. So again, this one was um, easy to do and a lot of fun and you could just add and embellish as much as you want. But again, I was going for a little bit of shabby spring. So that is why I um, used the shabby paper. All right, so I hope you stick around for the end final reveal, and I will catch up with you then. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep? Every night, and what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring? When it's gray outside It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder It really makes me wonder Ooh, I wonder How come the trees get undressed when it's cold? Until winter comes, until winter comes, until winter comes. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder.
It's been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for Wonder if you found what you're looking for I hope it's not too late I want you back here with me We never should have said It's better this way I'd rather be with you Than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me Say that you won't go I can't cope without you And I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go It's been so cold Without you here We barely said goodbye before you disappear It's been so cold without you here I'm not gonna lie Don't know what I'd do without you Maybe we could try Try to figure Okay Oh, I just think this one turned out so cute Well, you'll have to let me know what you think Please let me know which one of these five is your favorite i would love to know um let me know if you'd like to see some more shabby chic projects um i do have a vintage rustic eastery stuff project video coming up very soon here is the final reveal i just want to thank you again so much for joining me today and do not forget to check out the playlist and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up it helps my channel and it helps other people um to be presented with my video uh, that may like the same type of content. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Thank you again.